very first second it is open the hydrogen chamber valve and until six seconds is performed the Vulcan uh, checkout and a seven second when it's finalized and only if everything is okay it is launched the ignition of the boosters and there's no way back if all is well then and only then the computers give the order to light the boosters when we're going to go we'll let you hear the DDO attention pour le décompte final he will call out the final countdown we'll be back after Arian has cleared the tower 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, top. Allumage du 1. Allumage du 2 EAP et décollage. Well, the cryogenic arms swung open on time. You saw it triggering the ignition sequence at 1849 local. And right on time, Ariane 5 began her mission roaring off the pad here in French Guiana. You see the trail of gold leaving behind, rising into the night sky through the light clouds. So we do have our good visibility. We'll be able to see the separation of the boosters and maybe even the fairing. Always impressive, the liftoff. Ariane weighs 773 tons of liftoff. She's burning an impressive amount of tons, five tons fullest per second. And we're feeling now the sound is coming. La propulsion est nominale. To Jupiter. All is, okay. All is okay on board, says the DDO, as Ariane follows the program in her onboard computer. We're in the first of four flight phases. The first three are powered. The last is not. We'll describe each in turn and in detail so you can follow Arian as she heads across the Atlantic. Right now, the first phase, the single Vulcan is called the core stage engine, and the two boosters are burning. Everything is okay on board, says the DDO. How about the satellites now? They're riding, they're, they're waiting. Yeah, they're waiting. They may be on or off, depending on the customer's choice, uh, waiting for the time for to injection in orbit. It, uh, in a way, it's a special moment for them since they are experiencing now important accelerations of vibration during this first uh, atmospheric uh, flight, phase of the flight. Uh, however, they have been sight for that, and they, you know that they are vibration tested on ground before sending them to crew. And also, the launch vehicle uh, has, a, has, a has now withstanding enormous loads. Also, la propulsion est nominale. The boosters will burn for another five or six seconds, and you'll hear the DDO call out that milestone. Then they will be extinguished and separated. And there, that looks like the flame out of the boosters right there. You'll see them fall away. Separation des étages d'accélération. There we are. Two points of light on either side falling away. The the yellow dot in the middle, that's the uh, core stage. That's Ariane continuing to burn. On either side, the boosters going to fall about 500 kilometers away from shore. Now, how are they separated? Well, they have on board a pyrotechnical cutting system um, that separates it from the launcher and a small rocket for, for distancing them, for avoiding collision. Now, the separation orders are given by the onboard computer, which yes. is part of your, uh, your duties. Exactly. That's the case. Before the boosters are empty of their fuel, their push diminishes, and the onboard computer, we've been talking about, senses this drop in acceleration and decides to separate them. We're coming up on separation of the fairing, but before we do, take a look on the left of your screen, Jesus, and give us a rundown. On the upper left is the cursor crawling up the curve. What is that? Yes, it's a computer simulation of the trajectory. So now, uh, and we can see the dash point, which is now uh, the real trajectory. Well, now, 114 kilometers, 2.3 kilometers per second. We've had separation of the fairing. You can see there's one half you can see. The other half is out of camera range on uh, the other side. And, and are they separated the same way as the boosters are? Yeah, in a similar uh, system, but uh, now we, here we have two separation devices, one horizontal for separation from the launcher, another vertical for cutting the fairing uh, into halves. 